Bronco. Bronco. Ford Bronco. First four-wheel drive sports car. Blazing a new trail of excitement. A rough, tough, go-anywhere, climb-anything sports car. Choice of powerful six or big new 200-horsepower V8 engine. Clear out snow in four-wheel drive. Cruise down a road in two. Two-wheel drive without annoying whine. Smooth as silk on paved roads, Ford's new Bronco gives you synchronized shifting. Velvet smooth coil spring drive. Bronco Roadster, built for fun. Bronco Sports Utility, a do-anything workhorse. Bronco Wagon, family carry-all. At your Ford dealer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Drive Mom Joy. This one's going to be a little bit different. We just picked up a new vehicle. So, introducing Drive Mod and Joy's 2023 Ford Bronco. So, I'm here with Blake, as always. Say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. So also want to introduce you to someone else. Say hi. hi. This is my wife, everyone. So my wife's dream car. This was a tough one, right? Like I'm a huge JDM head. Blake's a huge JDM head. My wife's had some JDM vehicles, but that was never her like dream car, right? So backstory. We heard the new Broncos were coming out. We put a reservation on one, not knowing if we would ever be able to afford it, get it or anything. Is that about right? Yeah, I was definitely like, well, if we can't do it, we'll get the money back. So we put a reservation in 2021, early 2021. Not right when the reservations came out, but pretty close to then. It was, it was May, May. yeah, May 2021. And they come around 2022, October, we get an email saying we need to place an order or lose our reservations. So we're like, you know what? We're in a good enough place now. We're gonna do it. We sold, we had a Volkswagen take one that we sold. And then I paid off another vehicle, which you'll see at some point. And we were able to get my wife for dream car. So as you guys saw in a little montage, yes, this is the Bronco. It's my wife's, but we're gonna help work on it. Me, Blake, her, we're all gonna work on this together to make it very off-road friendly to say the least, right? Huh? Oh yeah, that, I'm We've already been off-roading in one of our other vehicles. You can kind of see it behind me. So we're off-roaders in addition to low cars. So there's absolutely no reason why we can't just take this as far as it'll go within the constraints of our budget and the other projects that we are sharing our budget with. So I'm really excited. We exactly. We already have parts to install. Yes. She even got delivered. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys saw in the last video and actually the Lexus video, we were surrounded by boxes and parts. Half of them were for a build you guys will see later on. But the other half, we're all for this Bronco. <laughs> so yes, 2023 Wild Track, we love it to death. Let me get you guys some uh, turnaround video. So yes, the plan is to start working on this in this episode. So today we're gonna really start where any off-road vehicle should start. And that's on protection, right? So the, the Bronco is super capable right out the gate. But you'll see on the side, like any rock could easily hit this rocker panel. So we ordered some RTR rock sliders with steps that I think will be perfect for this two door Bronco. We're stoked to install them and we'll get right to it. All right, so this is the RTR rock sliders box. And when it says caution heavy, it's pretty heavy. They mean it, right, Blake? Yeah. It's a lot. So we'll open it up, see what we got. Um, we haven't read any instructions for this. So it'll be really interesting to see how to proceed. Ooh, Very nice. whoa, these are packaged well. They're so short. Wow, I'm actually really impressed with the packaging. Like there's no way these would ever get hurt. All right, so we got them laid out. They look like they're gonna fit really well. Instructions say take off the wheel. I don't think we need to, Blake, right? Nope. What I will say about this RTR is they have color instructions. Everything's laid out. Even the bags have labeled nuts and bolts. Super happy. All right, so step one for us, since we do not have the stock rock rails, is we have to use a scraper and scrape these parts. Blake has offered tribute, so we're giving him the razor blade with the scraper. 
And the greatest thing about having a non-lowered vehicle is we can actually use a creeper for this. Getting down and dirty. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. From what I'm seeing, it needs to be like, apparently these sections. That white stuff is what we have to remove right there. Actually, it's a very little spot that we have to remove because it said three inches on each side, the hole. The front's almost all the way done. The rear, as you can see right there, is already clean on both sides. So super easy. So it actually wasn't that bad to do that. Um, Blake actually found the perfect tool for it. It's like this little razor. Actually, you found the tool. Yeah, so I have a exacto blade sets that I use for some of my other crafting that has a 90 degree perfect. angle one that was perfect. So Blake is now doing it on the other side really quick. How's the other side? Uh, Same? I think it's gonna need less. Oh wow, needs less on the other side. So yeah, real simple there. All right, so the next step is you have these like speed nut holders. So these go on each mounting face on the RTR. So you do one here and it says have this face towards the step. Oh, they snap good. Oh, wow. These are uh, definitely satisfying. Gotta work for it. They're not going anywhere once they're in there. That's for sure. Before on each rock rail, I don't know if it's more for the four door, but it's only four on each rail for the two door. These are really in there. And just repeat it on the other side. Okay, so all eight of those little things were added on both sides. And remember the threaded part goes away from the vehicle. So as you'll see right here, the threaded part goes to the outside. So next, the next thing we have to do, according to the RTR instructions. With a protected work surface underneath it, position the rock slider underneath the vehicle and align the notch with the pinch weld. So it's time to move it in place. Brute force time. All right, so rock rails in place, supplied 15 millimeter bolts are what's holding it up right now, they're loose. Next you have to use a torque wrench. I mean, it's just 10 foot pounds. Um, to do these 10 millimeter, they're gonna go from the inside of the pinch weld out into those speed nuts that we installed, so. Yes, all right, so the pinch weld bolts are in. Those were not fun, by the way, at all. The rear has such a little room to actually get in that bolt and it's, it's that far away where you have to put the socket through the actual mounting piece, so that was a pain. Blake is going to torque the 15s in, which honestly, I think that's the bulk of what holds us together. So this should finalize this side. So who's gonna test it? Someone has to test it. <laughs> that ain't going anywhere. All righty, y'all. We're not gonna bore you with the other side. We're gonna get the other side on off camera. We'll see you then. Uh, after a little bit of finagling, this side was a little bit harder. Um, it was hard to get the pinch weld screws in. They are installed. We all had a hand in it. It was kind of nice. Um, overall, I'd say they're really sturdy and honestly, RTR did pretty good instruction wise. What do you think, Blake? Yeah, they did really well. The, uh, the instructions were in color and pretty much step-by-step -step with or without the factory running boards, I think. Yeah. Uh, yep. Super easy. Super easy. RTR did a great job. What do you think about the install, hon? Wasn't too bad. No? No. Trying to figure out which extension was the right piece to fit into the little weird spot was the hardest part. What are you holding? My shorty. All right. Final install. Final install real quick. And then we'll leave you with some outro and some takes of the uh, install. All right. So the final install she wanted to do today is get rid of this this crazy swirly antenna yeah, thing. It's like a horse flip. 
So what's your replacement antenna? Who's it by? So it's by Max Racing. It's a short antenna made for the Bronco. Got it on Amazon, I think for like 30 bucks. It does come with little set screws. Choose which one is the right okay. one and make sure it's the right height, etc. Oh, it just goes in with that? Yep, because the other one has one installed already. Oh, okay. So, and <laughs> and there you go. Shorty antenna, nice. So, like I said, it came with a couple different other options for different vehicles, but that one looked like the best one, got it first try, so. Yep. And Amazon got it to me pretty quick. Like I literally ordered that the same day we ordered the Bronco because I had to get something. Okay. All right, everyone, that has been the install of the RTR rock rails on the Bronco and a stubby antenna, why not? This is the introduction of our Bronco, of course. Let us know in the comments below, what do you want to see us do the Bronco next? What, what do you think about the steps? Let us know uh, down below. But until next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, click the little notification bell. See you guys in the next episode of Drive Modern Joy. Bye, everyone.